Hello, I'm Paul Andrews from G4 Guitar School Ashford and in this video we're going to be looking at one of the seven essential skills which is picking. At G4 Guitar we focus on the seven essential skills because that is really what is at the core of guitar playing. We look at picking, chords, rhythm, reading, theory and oral and arpeggios and by focusing on those seven essential skills we're basically going to build up all areas of our playing so any song we look at, any riff can basically be broken down into one or many of these seven essential skills and by working on them outside of the songs, we can then be able to play any song we want, rather than trying to work on them inside the songs we choose. So picking is probably one of the most essential, because picking is really going to be driving everything you do on the guitar. So you can think of your picking hand as really the engine that's going to drive you along. If you've got weak picking, you're basically not going to be able to move. It's like in a car not having an engine, you're going to basically stand still. A lot of players dive straight in and start a little bit with picking. They look how they're holding the pick, they try and get it on the string, and that's pretty much it, then their attention turns to the left hand, which they see as doing most of the work. The problem with doing this is, unless this hand is very confident and accurate, you'll find you might be doing quite well with the left hand, but your right hand's going to be holding you back, because you won't be picking the right string, you actually won't be there. So actually it's going to slow you down, it's going to cause a lot of frustration, and ultimately you'll probably end up giving up. I see that quite a lot with my students, or people who've come to me and been trying to learn by themselves, they kind of feel like they're not progressing, and it's really a case of Apart from right hand, they feel they're not getting past these kind of initial hurdles because they've just not had the time to develop. So they think it's them that can't play, when it's just they haven't tried to really ingrain these kind of basic techniques. So to start off, we're going to quickly talk about how to hold the plectrum. So we start with a little finger uh, pistol like this. We're going to curl in the first finger, put the plectrum on top of the finger one, and hold it in place with the thumb. We're then going to bring the pick in at 90 degree angle to the strings. Bring out the fingers and brace them on the guitar. So that's just placing the uh, fingers on the body of the guitar or the string if you find you can't stretch to reach the body if you have small hands. Um, and then that's giving us a good position to start picking. To start, we're just going to take the sixth string, so the fat string, the one nearest your face, and just try and pick down and then up on that string. Now the goal here is really just trying to get comfortable playing a string, no more or no less than that really. Just trying to get that basic technique. Once you find you can do that, then we can start really looking at what we actually are doing as we're playing, and that is how we're gripping the picks. You only want a small amount of pick um, sticking out of your fingers, and you want to try and get the picks even, so not having a loud, then a soft, loud, and soft, try and get nice and smooth. Once you crack that, we're going to start trying to work with a metronome, and start trying to build up the tempo, starting around sort of 60 beats per minute and gradually build that up as you get more and more confident. Right, we're going to look at a few more exercises now, so we basically five essential exercises we want to look at. We're then going to try and look at how to put them into a tune, or how to break a song down into these different components or skills to make it easier to uh, basically learn. So exercise one is just picking down and up on that E string. We call that alternate picking, we're alternating which direction we're playing the string. So down, up, down, up. So that's exercise one, just try to keep it nice and even. Exercise two is called outward picking, so we're going to pick down on the E string, but then up on the A string. So we're basically playing the outside of the strings. So again, try to keep that bracing and try to keep that picking nice and smooth. Exercise three is inward picking, we're now going to pick up on the E string and down on the A string. So we've got up on the E, down on the A, up on the E, down on the A. Exercise four, we're just going to do two downs. So down on the E, down on the A, down on the E, down on the A. And the last one, exercise five, we're going to basically do two ups. So up on the A, up on the E, up on the A, up on the E. Now, um, you can be forward thinking these exercises are very simple, so they're not really worth spending time on, but again, this is all about technique development. If we were to do a hard exercise, you won't be able to focus on the hand and give it enough attention to really develop the technique very well. That's why it is so simple. So you can really focus all your attention on the right hand. We're not using the left at all here. The idea is to isolate this one hand and really focus on how we're playing that string and just keep refining, refining, refining. Again, a student often says, well, I can pick, I don't need to do it, but how good is your picking? Unless it's very controlled, unless you can play a string very accurately and evenly for long periods of time and keep to a steady beat, it needs work. And these five basic exercises will really help do that. So don't ignore them if they're too basic. They're basic for a reason, so we can really spend the time developing. OK, there's my lecture on why I want to do these five exercises. Try and I mean, bring them into your practice routines. Try and start off just a few minutes every time you pick up the guitar, and you'll see a really good development in your playing. It will really build up this right hand. 
Right, okay, so now five exercises. And it's quite interesting, these five exercises you'll see in so many songs, once you crack them, you become very confident. Again, this is the whole idea. You'll be able to do them. So when we play a riff and it has these exercises, these picking directions, these picking um, <laughs> movements, you'll be able to do it because you spend the time working on it. So a great example is something like uh, Living on a Prayer by John Bon Jovi. It's quite easy to try and jump into that riff and then get a bit whoa, um, confused by it because there's a lot going on. You try and do both hands, and whoa, whoa. unless this hand's very confident, you find it won't keep up with this hand because we jump between strings and vice versa. So the idea here is to isolate. We can look at the right hand, and when we do that, we can actually see it as just a couple of exercises. We're basically going to do the outward picking, which is exercise two. So we just go down, up, down, up. So we basically do it twice. So down, up, down, up. Then we're going to do pick an exercise one, which was on the E string alternate picking, down, up. And then we're going to finish again with exercise two, which was the outward picking, down, up. So this hand's just going down, up, down, up, down, up on the E string, down, up. So I'll say the string names make it a bit more obvious what's going on. Down on E, up on A, down on E, up on A, down on E, up on E, down on E, up on A. So it's the exercise two, twice. Exercise one and exercise two. So once you find this hand playing that quite smoothly, consistently, and so that's really the hard part. Then this hand basically can go on autopilot and can then spend the rest of our time focusing on the left hand. And this is not too bad. We're going to break this one down as well into very small chunks. It's eight notes, so we're basically in our four beats in the bar. We're split into two parts, so we've got eight picks basically in the bar. And so we're going to break it down into just two picks at a time. So we've got the open E string, seventh fret on the A string. As our first beat, as our one and. Our second beat is seventh fret on the E string, and then fifth fret on the A string. So the first two beats, open E, seventh fret on the A, seventh fret on the E, and fifth fret on the A. So we have this, one and, two and. For the third beat, we just have two open E strings for the down, up. And the very last one, we're actually going to repeat um, the section we already did, which is 7th fret on the E string, 5th fret on the A string. So you put that together, we have open E, 7th fret on the A, 7th fret on the E, 5th fret on the A, 2 open E strings, 7th fret on the E, and 5th fret on the A. So again, it's really breaking down each hand one at a time. I could even do that back in picking to start with, and really focus on where my fingers are going to go. Just really trying to get the movements and then obviously bring both the hands together. And put that together, we have that down, up, down, up, down, 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 up for exercise two, two, one, two. And that's it. So that's how we'll start basically looking at our songs, break them down to different skills, and you'll find you pick up a lot quicker. So and the idea behind that is to break it down to basic hands. So we look to the picking directions. We bring them to the exercises, and then make sure we're happy doing that, and then brought in the left hand, and then start looking up to the fretted notes. And then it just comes together so much quicker. There'll be a lot less um, tripping up, there'll be a lot less kind of messing around trying to find where things are going, and you'll be able to get lots sooner. So basically, just to recap what we're going today, is to bring, make sure picking is a part of your practice routine. Every time you pick up a guitar, a good for maybe five minutes every time, just to really warm up hands. Start off these five basic picking exercises, and once you find you've got the um, accuracy, you're picking the right strings, it's time to make sure it's even, so each string is played at the same level volume. It's then time to bring the metronome and start on maybe a 60. Again, the great thing with metronome, we can alter it. If it's too easy, we can make it faster. If it's too hard, we can bring it back and make it slower. Make it so it's not too easy that obviously you can do it without really trying, but not too hard that we're falling over, because again, we're just going to ingrain bad habits. Picking hand will remember bad technique just as well as it remembers good technique, so we need to make sure we're practicing the right things. And lastly, it's then when you come up against a riff, trying to break it down to its components. So looking at the picking pattern and then looking at the left hand after that and then basically combining. So hopefully you've got a few ideas there to take away. The main thing is don't ignore your picking hands. <laughs> Very easy to focus your time on the left when the picking hand is really the driving force. So make sure that's part of your picking practice. Okay, so this is the first in a series of uh, webinars or videos. 
and I'll be posting on my Facebook page of the up and coming weeks when I do the next one. So head over to facebook.com slash g 4 to stay up to date and I'll see you uh, in yes, a future video. Cheers.